Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Wow, that's too enthusiastic. That's that's no. Sorry. Let's do that again. Let's let's be real. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know. Hey, uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm just as surprised that you're here as you are. Are you surprised that you're here? You probably are. Happy Thanksgiving. If you're seeing this in America, uh, the Thanksgiving was yesterday. You're on a long weekend. What else do you have to do besides watch YouTube videos all weekend before you have to go back to work? Um, and also wanted to just take a quick sec to say thank you. We have uh, reached, well, we've gone past 500 subscribers, which if you know anything about YouTube, getting subscribers is like really hard. It's really hard. So if you're watching this, please subscribe. I post videos like whatever, every month, every two months, you know, I get it. This, this doesn't feed the algorithm the way YouTube wants me to do it. But listen, I work, I have a family. I do this for fun. Let's get into it. Electron has posted an update for the analog rhythm. It's uh, update 1.70. I got to admit, when I first was looking into this and, 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 and got it, one of the things I was a little nervous about was how old the device was. You know, it, I, th I think it's like 10 years old. The Mark One is around 10 years old, somewhere in there. I was a little nervous about that, but knowing what I know about Electron, they keep their devices for a long time, and they're not constantly turning over devices, which I actually appreciate. I think that's a, a smart move on their part to create robust hardware that uh, can be a, a, an instrument that you kind of, it's a, like a lifelong instrument. That, you know, this is um, not, these are not boxes that you sort of, discard you know what do they call it fast fashion is the is the word you know like the model cycles gets a little bit more into the maybe you're gonna like swap this thing out it's you you might not hold on to this forever but these you can and i did come to that conclusion ultimately but i was a little nervous with how old it was and I, you know i think that's just part of being in this gear culture where you sort of see updates happening and they, you know, the companies put out new versions of things. Uh, I was optimistic that when I got this, that I would um, potentially see an update in the future. I'm glad to report, Hey, here we are. How this is going to work is I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to go top down and we're going to just kind of look at, I have a pattern here that I've made and, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go through some of the bigger features that I think are really cool. Just sort of talk through why I think they're cool. Maybe we'll do another, like an outro or something. Nah, let's see. Here is our pattern that we're working with. Simple pattern. Okay. And actually, uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is on the kick drum. If you go to the trig menu, you can see now that there is a Euclidean, uh, I guess, I guess it's a sequencer technically. So actually what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to move over here and turn on the Euclidean sequencer and let's see. If I put this into record, you can see all the, the steps. And as you move things around, everything's purple now, or it would typically be red or yellow. But in Euclidean, the steps are purple now. That's pretty cool. We'll leave that. That sounds good to me. All right. So you can see that you can put these Euclidean patterns together now. So both the snare and the kick have 
different Euclidean rhythms. Very cool. All right, so then the next thing is this. Let's get out of trig mode for the source. This is the Psi uh, chip. It's really cool. It's almost like a little arpeggiator. I'm gonna actually mute this. I'm gonna actually mute everything but that. And you can go through the different waves. It's crazy. Ah. If you, so it's all based on the decay. Very cool. And then you have these offsets here for the, the tuning. It's really cool. I mean, like, this is kind of a game changer, really. When you think about if you had this previously and you understood how when we only had the um, the uh, VCO, the dual VCO, I mean, this is crazy by comparison. So all the different wave shapes. Um, actually, then it has a um, pulse width modulation. Which is controllable with the LFO. Sort of. This knob is controllable with the LFO, but this actually has an animated pulse width modulation in there. There we go. So this has this little arrow. Very cool. I mean, that in and of itself is like a really cool update. I would have been super psyched with this if that was the only update, honestly, because this just opens up a lot more that you can do with it. But then let me unmute everything again. Go back to play. Does they also have a hi-hat lab, which is up here? And actually, I'm going to mute that melody. So here, you can dial in. Very cool. I actually really like the hi hat I had before. <laughs> I don't remember what I, I think it was just on the. Um, I prefer kind of a darker hi hat. And these have like, and it's probably hard to see through the, the camera, but each one of these has a little dot for representing one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six right there. I don't know if you can tell, but six has like all dots. Whereas one has just one little dot. So you can really like dial this in. super cool it really makes um, your kit super customizable I 
mean, it was pretty customizable before, but this is like model cycles level customizability. It's really good. Um, so that's fun. Oh, also, going back to the kick drum and snare, those have new acoustic. New acoustic um, engines. So here, they also have like uh, little graphic user interface upgrades and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, I'm on BD Acoustic. And so you have wave shape, decay, all the different tunings. Right now, that's just one of them. If you were to take and hit source and yes, you can randomize. And some of these get very fart sound. It sounds like they sound like farts. That last one was good. That's kind of farty. Let's try to find another good one. Yeah, that one's a little farty. It's like. I was gonna make the noise, but then I decided not to. The problem with random is like sometimes you keep hitting this button and then you don't want to stop pressing it, and you just and then sometimes you accidentally skip past stuff that are really good. Good enough for government work, right, guys? All right, so now also when we go to the snare drum, it's the same thing. Not the same thing in that, but it, it's the snare drum acoustic. So you can see SD acoustic here with the little snare drum icon up there, which is a nice touch. A lot of these um, machine icons and stuff were introduced i think with the model series so it sounds it, to me it looks like they were really doing quite a bit of workshopping with these model series on features that they could then move out and up to their more flagship devices but this is cool because it has you know body decay noise level Sweep depth, impact. These two are nice. You can really dial in the sound, which I love. So, I mean, between the snare drum, the kick drum, the hi hat lab, oh, let's go back here. And Sorry, <laughs> that's been like just chiming away the whole time. I just have a sample here as the bass sound. Um, but yeah, so you know, Euclidean pattern, you know, this is kind of like funky a little bit. Um, really cool, really fun to play around with. And I'm uh, pretty happy with this update. So let's go back to the chair. Wow. What a transition. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, no. Why did it do that? Ah. So. <laughs> um, cool. That was fun. That's fun with the microphone. Um, yeah, guys. So very cool update and again i've only spent a little bit of time with these just to kind of familiarize myself to do this video but um you know it's it's very cool and you know i appreciate that electron did that um it's it speaks volumes to how they feel about their their users which um is nice to see so thanks for that Again, I hope you have a great holiday. With my track record of how often I'm posting videos, I may not <laughs> have another one up before um, Christmas. So if that's the case, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. I am working on, 
uh, some music with this device specifically. Uh, I actually have a goal for myself to release an EP only using this device. So that is in the works. I have one track done with that so far, working on the rest. If you don't know, I do have two albums or EPs, I guess what you would call them, on, on streaming. So YouTube Music, Spotify, you can check that stuff out. You know, again, hitting over, getting over 500 is uh, a, you know, a huge milestone for me. It does mean a lot to me, and I appreciate it. And, um, you know, it's just nice to be able to, like, nerd out with this stuff and have someone watch it and care. I guess I'm going to have to yeah, start working on my endings, right? This is a little drawn out, a little long winded. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks.